In Python, a file is categorized as either text or binary, and the difference between the two file types is important. Text files are structured as a sequence of lines, where each line includes a sequence of characters, such as HTML, XML, and text files. And a binary file is any type of files that is not a text file, such as PDF, image files, and video files. Because of their natures, uh, binary files can only be processed by an applications that know and understand the file structure. In other words, there must be some applications that can read and interpret the binary file. In order for us to work with a test file in Python, we can use the built-in open function. The open function will return a file object, and commonly we just need to input two arguments. The first argument is the name of the file, and the second argument is the mode, which is the way that you will work with the test file. There are five common type modes, including the whip mode, write mode, and pen mode, and the combinations of the modes. The read mode is to read data from a file. The write mode is to write data into a file. In this mode, data is in the existing file will be read, overwritten. The append mode is to append data into a file. In this mode, data will be appended to the end of the file. So let's start with an example to see how we could um, use different modes to communicate with our test file. First of all, we set up a file object first and then we try to use the open function right here in the file the, the file the first argument that we have to put is the uh, file name and then after, for the second argument we just need to uh, put in which mode that um, we are going to use to communicate with our file so here we we just already um, with this simple sentence, one sentence or one um, one sentence of code, so we can just simply open the file and then open the text document files and then put it into a file object. So every time we have to to close this file um, properly in order um, for us to avoid any problems. So we just um, within this. Um, so this is the open statement and then this is the closed statement and then within this statement let's print out uh, what we could have in this uh, what what we have in this file object so we have the file object however this is just an object so we need to use the function inside these objects in order for us to know what's um, what's inside this test document so with this free simple of course you can see and just extract um, the test the data within this test document and there are three sentence including um, this there's three sentence inside this test document instead of using a file name we can actually use uh, provide a file file path with the names in this so this is the file name with the full path and then we can actually do the same by do the same thing uh, by replacing the file name with this um, full path. So you can see there's no difference. One point we should note that is the close function here. Uh, it is important to understand that uh, if we do not close the objects uh, properly, any further attempts to use the file uh, will be failed. But sometimes it is very easy for us to forget to uh, put in this closed statement. In order for us to avoid the problem, we can use a with statements to help us to to solve the uh, to address these problems. So here we just um, put in the with statement, and then we similarly we just um, copy this open file functions, and then us the these file objects. So there's no difference by us by assigning these um, open file objects to these um, file objects variables. So here, just put a code and right here, and then you can see there's no difference in between in between this code and this code. And 
and you can also see that um, here we don't necessarily just uh, put these um, close um, functions right here. We can simply just um, put it right here, and then with the with statement, it will help us to close it appropriately. So you can see the results are the same. There are several ways that we can read the data from the file, and here we just um, use dot with uh, functions to read everything from the files. So actually we can read it line by line by using dot with lines function. Or on the other hand, we can use a loop or to help us to do that with the file. So here we just use a for loop for line inside these um, file objects. And then we just want to print out a line to show results that they are actually similar. You can see that the width file function is that um, we just width everything inside this data file. And then here we start uh, for the width lines here, we just provide you uh, a list of the of these um, sentence one, sentence two, sen sentence three. They just treat the first string as a um, the the first string as data one, and the second string as the data two, and so and so. And then um, finally, we can also use a for loop uh, within these file objects because there are three um, data in this um, in this uh, in this test file so that um, this for loop just one three times. Uh, this is sentence one, sentence two, sen sentence three. So let's see how we could write something uh, into this test document. Just copy and then first. So we change the arrow to W and then the file objects right here just um, change the width line functions to another the write functions. So here you can see that we are going to write one sentence, um, write a sentence into this file. The black, um, the black slash n means that there's new line after this, um, this write this sentence. So because everything will be um, overwritten by this. Um, Right mode. So in order for us to keep the original um, data and just provide three sentence um, to write inside these objects, and then I use these um, uh, open th these open functions to read the results to you. So here again, this is sentence, sentence one, sentence two, and sentence three. So for example, I just changed this to sentence five. Oh. See there, similar results. But very often we do not want to override the existing data into the file. So here we can change to the append mode to see what happened. And you can see that with the append mode, the data right now will be appended to the end of the file. 